officially seven days until we finally get back to normal with power being on our TV screens and they've released the episode titles for the remaining episodes so I'm talking all about what we could expect from those titles and based on the storylines that we've seen play out in the first half of the season. So welcome back to MovieBot and let's talk about Power Book 2 Ghost. So hope you're all doing great and welcome to another Power Book 2 Ghost video and I'm talking all about the titles for the rest of the season which they have released and the second half of the season is just 7 days away so if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already then remember to smash the subscribe button as well as if you enjoy my videos then make sure to smash the like button as well. But let's get straight into this video and dive deep into the titles of the remaining 5 episodes and they are Good vs Evil for episode 6, Sex Week for episode 7 and those are the two that we knew about already but episode 8 is titled Family First and surprisingly episode 9 is titled Monster which I'm going to touch on in just a moment and then we have episode 10 which is called Heart of Darkness. But before I talk about the episodes and I am going to talk about the episode titles in order but I actually want to start with episode 9 and then I'll talk about the rest of them in order because this one actually surprisingly considering the rumours that were going around about episode 9 being titled and why it's been a minute and I actually do think the title may have originally been and why it's been a minute because they had merchandise printed and everything which Zeke and a few of the other actors posted on Instagram and they posted t-shirts and things with 109 and why it's been a minute so I definitely think the title was actually going to be for episode 9 and why it's been a minute because the two big episodes for the season is episode 9 and 10 and I personally do believe one of my predictions is that Tommy will return in the very last moments of episode 9 to the build up for the season finale and I do think it was called NY Spin a Minute and they've changed it to Monster or maybe it was actually never planned to be called NY Spin a Minute they've always planned on calling it Monster I personally think they've changed the title from the episodes not to give anything away I think having a title like NY Spin a Minute would really give it away if they were to have that title but there still is a meaning behind this because they did have merchandise printed 109 NY Spina Minute which Zeke's character posted on Instagram. So there is definitely something happening in episode 9 with the old character returning in my opinion. And you guys know I've spoken about Courtney Kemp teasing Tommy's return because of what Tash has been saying in court and she did say that if someone's been name dropping someone in court then they may feel compelled to show up and talk to them about it. So I personally believe that we will see the return of Tommy however brief it may be. It just makes sense for them to do it and set up his spin-off which is going to be starting to film in January. But yeah I'm surprised that they've maybe changed the episode title if they did change it that is but I'm going to talk about episode 9 in just a moment because let's get to the titles in order now and let's talk about good versus evil which is episode 6 because they've actually released a description for this episode and it reads Tariq's hands are tied fearing that fully letting Brayden in on their arrangement with the TARDIS has put him on a violent collision course with Kane so that's the synopsis for episode 6 and I've spoken about Kane and Brayden's potential team up in this video here where I did my mid-season trailer breakdown analysis so I'll link this video down below for anyone who may not have seen it. But what do you guys make of this because from what it sounds Brayden is entering the game and when I mean entering the game he's entering the game with Kane and this is something I'm excited to see because I actually think Brayden will enjoy and he'll get the thrill once he's done it once or twice and I think Kane may even actually like Brayden similarly to the way Kanan took Tariq under his wing and taught him the game I think Kane could be that person for Brayden and Brayden even teased that episode 6 is his favourite episode so I expect what we saw in the mid-season trailer such as this to actually play out in the very first episode back on December 6th so this is what I'm expecting to see in episode 6 a lot of Brayden I think we'll see a lot of Brayden in the first episode back and I'm looking forward to it because he's one character besides Tariq that I think will really grow in the power universe and how I talked about Tariq eventually finding his way and crossing over to Power Book 4. I actually hope that Brayden does as well but that's the conversation for a different time and it's way too early to dive deep into it but no doubt sometime in the future I will be diving deep into it with that possibly happening. But let's talk about episode 7 and I really hope it's not what it sounds like because episode 7 is titled Sex Week and I really hope we don't just see Jabari and Kari banging left right and centre because those are two characters that I really can't stand, especially Jabari, but the name of the title gives it away. I think what we'll see in episode 7 which will be Zeke spanking Kyrie's cheeks again, I'm sure we'll see Tariq spanking Lauren's cheeks and we've seen possibly Jabari getting busy with another student and possibly Monet and Ramirez and I wouldn't be surprised if Kane walks in on them and kicks shit off. So that's what I expect to see in episode 7 and the clues in the title, it really gives it away. Now this is where it gets interesting so make sure you guys stick around till the end of the video because we didn't know the episode titles for 8, 9 and 10. And episode 8 is titled Family First. So let's dive deep into Family First. And before I do, I'm going to play a short clip for you. How could you kill someone you love? Some niggas say you're not a real killer till you do. So let's just put this into context. How can you kill someone you love? You're not a real killer until you do. 
We're going to see some real tough situations with families in episode 8 and I just want you to keep that quote in the back of your mind as I'm discussing episode 8. So what situations do we have where family will need to come first? We have the situation with Brayden and his brother Trace. What is Brayden going to do when he finds out that it was his brother that stole the stash of pills because it's inevitable that there will be some backlash and I for one hope that Brayden drops his first body and it's his brother Trace because it would show no mercy and it would just show how dark Brayden has the potential to get and no doubt Kane will play a part in this. And next let's talk about Riley and Cooper Sacks because there's another issue we have with a family member who may need to come first. Now Cooper Sacks has been using Riley to get information from Tariq and well Brayden now too it seems. And Riley, sooner or later she's gonna get busted and I for one don't have a good feeling about Riley. I hope she does join Tariq and Brayden's team but if she dies I think the blood could be well on Sax's hands. Now there's also the situations with the Tahada family. Their family from what we saw in the first couple of episodes is built on loyalty. But over the course of the first half of the season we've actually seen Drew's head starting to turn from the game and Diana spending too much time at Stansfield albeit because Monet is the one who sent her. But I think this is the turning point episode where we could actually see Monet regain control if she does regain control again because the Tahada family are soon going to have to find themselves at a point of no return. So where does Drew's loyalties lie? Kane will rebel against his mother, that's inevitable. But where will his loyalty ultimately lie? Diana will no doubt get into bed with Tariq at some point and wants to go to college but where does her loyalty lie? And Zeke no doubt will catch feelings for Carrie but ultimately where does his loyalties lie because will he be willing to give up the sex with Carrie and focus on his game and focus on making it to the NBA? These are all of the questions that I believe will need to be answered and I'm sure it will be the build up to episode 8 which is titled Family First and could we see a killing among the family members? It's a quote that I told you to keep in the back of your minds throughout me discussing Family First and it's something I hope we see with Brayden and Trace. Now episode 9 is called Monster instead of what we thought was NY Spina Minute and I don't want to speculate too much where episode 9 and 10 could be heading without using any logic behind my thought process like I have done for episodes 6, 7 and 8 because the storyline could take a twist in the first 3 episodes back and it could really completely change the game for episode 9 and 10. But Monster, what could be the meaning behind Monster? I assume someone could have turned into a monster, a killing machine, someone who may be out of control but as I said I really don't want to speculate too much about episode 9 and 10 without using any logic behind my analysis. But let's talk about episode 10 for a minute because it is titled Heart of Darkness and I think we're really in for a shock in episode 10. It's going to be someone literally with a heart of darkness and I've previously predicted a long time ago that this is the episode or maybe at the end of episode 9 where we could see Tommy return but I'll link the videos down below because as I said I don't want to speculate too much without using any logic behind my analysis for episodes 9 and 10 but for episodes 6, 7 and 8 give me your thoughts let me know what you think about them now that we have the titles and well if you do have any ideas about episodes 9 and 10 besides Tommy potentially returning then drop all your comments and theories down below in the comment section. And also if you enjoyed my video then remember to smash the like button it really does help me get this video out to a lot more power fans and if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already remember to smash the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.